Question, do you understand Octane's lights? So we're gonna break down one node here. We're gonna take a step-by-step -step to keep it simple and easy. First node, we're gonna look at the texture emission node. Let's get into it. We're not making anything cool today. We're just trying to understand Blender Octane. It's an important, if you wanna make something cool, we need to understand our tools, right? So the first thing we're gonna be looking at is I just have a general area light inside of here. And when we ever, whenever you make a light, especially an octane and a general light like this, it's always going to connect to a diffuse material. We have our diffuse material and here is our admission. Again, if I disconnect the admission here, scroll this down, octane admissions, there's two types of admissions that we can use. We can use a black body admission and a texture admission. Black body admission uses the Calvin scale, which is a real world scale of the intensity of color of light. And then you have a texture admission, which is just your general texture. You can make it any color you want, right? For the sake of this, I'm just gonna just keep it simple. We're gonna go first to the texture admission. So this is the node that we're gonna break down. We're gonna look at pretty much everything on this. And the best source to go to is the instruction manual. And unfortunately the instruction manual is not the best, but it's, it, it's gonna help us, right? So we look at it, we get in this first section here. We have our admission out, which we shot out. I just showed you that, which goes into the admission of the diffuse. Now we have this one right here called texture. And a lot of people will think this is where you'll plug in a texture map if you wanted to use it for something, right? If we go into texture here, it says the texture node, I'm gonna actually kill the camera for a minute here because I'm gonna fire up the render, okay guys? It says here, a texture node admission allows a valid texture node to set the light intensity. You can use it to create interesting effects, a TV screen, or by using an image texture. But if we scroll down here also, take a look at this. Texture admission parameters. Texture sets the light source efficiency. You can use this value or texture, okay? So we can use it as two different ways. We can use it one as an actual texture for like a gobo or something like that and as a value and this is what typically i think it gets used a lot more for a value we look here keep in mind real world lights aren't 100 percent efficient at delivering power to their specific wattage 100 watts light bulbs don't deliver 100 watts of light okay this parameter enters the real world value so what they're saying here is when you have a light bulb you get a 150 watt light bulb, it's not a true 150 watts, right? It's not putting out pure 100% of that. There is, because of energy and the way energy expands, you're not getting 100%. So this value is what is basically representing. So if I jump back over here and I'll quickly show you something, you notice it's a color value here. But again, everything is data, right? So here is the number value. It's basically 0.25. It's not set to one, which is 100%. It's actually at 0.25. And so I don't know how they came up with this value, but that's all science stuff that I'm not gonna get into. But here is the value. So let's fire up the render and see what that does to our light here. So here is our light when it comes in default. And this is pretty much the value 100%. Again, if we go to power quickly, the light source wattage. Used to set each light to its real world wattage for example, set a desk lamp to 25 watts, okay, desk lamp, a ceiling light to 100 watts, or an LED to 0.25 watts for an LED, right? Super small, we can't even see it here. We'll have to make it smaller, but let's go back to 100. So efficiency, now if we go back up here to our efficiency, 0.25 value of this 100%. If we click this back to one, now look at it it's just completely blasting and over bright. This is true 100 watts at 100% power efficiency, which doesn't exist in the real world, right? So this value again here was at 0.25. This is basically, I don't know how they come up with it, like some science jibber jab of math stuff, right? Now what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and put in a texture inside of this and see what happens. All right, so now I just grabbed in a, a noise texture here and I'm gonna grab this noise texture and just plug it into the texture, texture out into texture. Let's see what it does. Well, it's just bright light, right? I don't really see any textures. Let's see if I crank this up to, let me say 50 on my contrast. I'm not really seeing the texture. Oh, well actually, hang on. If you look at the actual light itself, we can see the texture on the light. 
tweak my gamma, we can probably even see this a little bit better. Let's go ahead and play with these gamma. There it is. We can see the texture right there. It's not like what we think. It's not projecting that texture down onto the ground onto a light like a gobo. Again, like if you wanted this to be more like a TV screen or something, this is where we could possibly put in maybe an image. Let's try that. All right, so I quickly just grabbed an image and I'm gonna throw this image in here. Let's fire up the render and see what we see. Well, we don't really see too much happening at the moment here. Let me get a better view. Well, actually, I can faintly see the image and let's see if we come to the power of the light and go to zero and let's take the power of the light down 0.1. Well, there it is. We can just use the power of the light of the emission, right? Again, like they said, if it was something like an LED, it will be 0.25. So that will be like 0.25 right there. Okay. Maybe we wanted to do something a little bit more like 10 watts. Like it's like, an, uh, like some type of sign. Well, that might be a little bit too bright. Let's go five watts. Still a little bit too bright, but you guys see the point. You get the just 0.25, right? That's basically how we would like do like a TV screen or something. If you want to have an image inside there and you wanted it to emit some type of light. That's a great way to do it. All right, so moving on to the next section,